Hello YouTube, this is a 10 minute preview from one of our much longer interview episodes. You can find the links to this episode and the rest of our podcast in the description below. Liking this video really helps us out, so we appreciate every single one of you. Well, not Dave, he didn't turn up for this little intro piece, but I do. As always, be good, love you lots, until next time. Boo. Hello. Oh, what do you mean? Because oh, <laughs> you said boo. <laughs> can you hear me? Hell yeah, there we awesome. go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Just just been chilling today, no stream, so I've been getting some stuff caught up with. Yeah. Was it a late one Life. last night? Uh, well, yeah, it came off about midnight. I had that oh, okay. scum stream, so. Yeah, I was watching for a few hours. I watched, uh, <laughs> it, was so, it was hilarious, I'm not going to lie. Uh, the <laughs> Yeah, the little people <laughs> that you had chasing you for a, I had no idea that that was a thing. Yeah, neither did I. I it was very entertaining, but it's quite an experience for the second time playing the game. Yeah. I was watching from the moment, I think I pulled, I've i started watching about five minutes before you rescued um, Sarah Moore. You drove up <laughs> in a car and then he was getting shot at from across the field on Bitterroot. I think that was... Uh, oh, yeah. That was good timing. You finally met up with Amish and then, yeah, the drugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a fun night. It was, it was ludicrous. It was ludicrous. I saw another one that you'd done not so long ago with like Ben Fruit and that when you liked some submarine under the, under the, uh, under the sea. And it was like a oh, bit like, yeah. yeah, that one was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. Sarah Moore trying to like be the captain was just hilarious. What game was that? Yeah, that was just chaos. Bar Barrow Trauma, I think. The we had no idea how to play. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was amazing. It was amazing. These sponsored streams are like proper fun. Yeah, that one wasn't a sponsored stream. That was just us playing random games. But yeah, oh, you weren't paid lot. to play that. No I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh shit! That, I'm only joking, man. That was actually hella fun to watch. I didn't catch yesterday's one. I was catching up on some work. Yeah, it was an interesting one yesterday. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, so uh, I've actually got an icebreaker prepped and ready this time. When we have our interviews, I always like scold myself for not coming up with some sort of icebreaker. But I done a good one last time. Did ya? What was it? Oh good memory. That was with Dozy yeah, Chopper, good right? Good memory, yeah, it was a chopper, yeah. Right. Well, this one, Holly, what's your favourite dinosaur? Oh, um I mean I, I guess I have to say a T Rex because yeah. The whole Rex, and I call my dog my little T-Rex because he's a <laughs> sausage dog with little arms. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have guessed that. I'm not going to lie. I, I, <laughs> I, feel a, I don't feel stupid. You feel stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, when, I, when I, you know, Holly Rex, I didn't think of T-Rex. I just thought of dinosaur. But then actually the Rex is a... Actually, weren't there loads of Rexes? Weren't there like a, I don't know, a different flavour of Rex? Of a T-Rex? No, like there's a T-Rex, in... like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but wasn't there like a something else Rex? I don't know. What, like a dinosaur? Yeah, I think so. I think there's like, T-Rex is the, Tyrannosaurus Rex is the top of the Rex food chain. There are smaller versions of it, but I can't get them out of, like, about going on Google and finding them. But yeah, Rex is this the biggest version of that dinosaur, like, carnivore species. Well, I guess I learned something today. You're going all f***ing Ross Geller. Yeah, I'm all Ross Geller, yeah. <laughs> Le less dweeby. Oh, really? Oh, shots fired. <laughs> all right. Okay, I feel like, Dave, you're... Uh, you're in charge of icebreakers from now on. Yeah, true. <laughs> Actually, I saw, I, I saw a sausage dog at the weekend, but I won't repeat what I was going to say after that. <laughs> oh, no, come on, Is your man. one a male? Is your one a male sausage dog? Because it's he called is, Rex. yeah. Yeah. You well, his what. name's not Rex. He's, he's called oh. Huey. But <laughs> basically, long story short, when I was trying to figure out a stream name, I saw a little image of like a dashend in a T-Rex, like a little picture of a dash in a T-Rex costume. So then I thought, because I called Huey my T-Rex, but then it was also like a play on like Rex as in get wrecked type of thing. So I thought, okay, let's go with that. Uh, 
And actually, that brings me to the next bit. As I've <laughs> lit, I watched your video yesterday of your True Colors event that you released seven days ago. And when you're on that final circle and you peek that guy, you kill him, you go, get wrecked. <laughs> like so fast. <laughs> like literally, you just like, get wrecked. And then you just reloaded that blaze. Like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, she, that's probably why she's called wrecked <laughs> on the end. That was an epic shot, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a play on the word, I suppose. But yeah, I figured it works. Nice. So uh, let's start off with the uh, ultimate of all questions that's uh, on the tip of everyone's tongue when we interview a top streamer. And it is, what got you into streaming? What what, what made you go, I don't know, what, I'm going to start streaming the game? Well, see, when I started streaming, that's when I first made my Twitch account. So I wasn't on Twitch. I didn't know anybody. I didn't watch any content. It was just kind of, I got my PC three years ago, downloaded DayZ because I have always wanted to play it. Um, so that was the first game I downloaded. And then at the time I was working from home because I with my other business. Um, so I just had a lot of free time and I figured, I, you know, I was enjoying playing it. And then a few people in game that I was playing with that I was like just meeting randomly in, in the servers were kind of mentioning some of them streamed or they were like, oh, why don't you stream? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what, what that is. And then I kind of just tried it got a really budget set up um and it snowballed from there snowballed indeed didn't it really i mean this this <laughs> year has got to be your year right yeah it's pretty crazy i didn't expect any of it i literally bought the cheapest stuff for streaming that i could buy <laughs> because i didn't want to like waste i it was kind of like i'm gonna try and stream daisy maybe i enjoy it maybe i don't if i don't enjoy playing yeah. the game on stream as much as i do just playing it alone then i just will stop streaming but then yeah no i i loved it so how long did you play before you picked, decided to press go live? Um, I played for about a month or so before I started streaming. And then, but yeah, it was kind of like the, I was playing the same server a lot and I'd meet yeah. a lot of the same people a lot of the time. And then I would just talk to them and um, a few of them are streaming already. So I was figuring it out like that. And but yeah, I just kind of stumbled into it, I suppose. Well, uh, what servers were they then? I think I, the first time I come across you, was on an Essica server. Yes, I. So I started playing on um, day one Essica when it like had it was pretty popular at the time. Yeah, yeah. So I was just playing the evenings on there, and it was great because you just bump into the same people and make friends and have fun. Because I didn't have any friends to play with. Like none of my friends were playing Daisy in real life, you know. Oh, but you found your friends in the server, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I just, yeah. we, we ended up making a Discord and then like anytime we'd bump into somebody cool in game, we would invite them to the Discord, mm. say, you know, we're, we're going to be on tomorrow night if you want to join us and kind of, we just got a, a nice little group going. That's how it goes, isn't it? I mean, we have a lot of people yeah. in our Discord that we, so in, in our Discord, we have like a looking for group or whatever, a team, is it team up channel, Dave? I think Team up channel, yeah, it's a team up channel, yeah. And we got people in there say like, look, I've had this game for like a year, two years or whatever, and just haven't found people to reliably run with, which I think is is the best way to play Daisy, in my opinion. I'm not a, a lone wolf by any means. So having someone to run with changes the whole game for me. Uh, and to have people where they where they don't have that, I feel like that sucks a little bit. So being able to create that that own little community for yourself, I think that's uh, that's definitely the way to the way to go. Yeah, it was it was really really nice. And it, I always hate when people say I want to play DayZ, but I have nobody to play with. And I just tell them just jump in. Like here's the service that I recommend. They have great communities. You will probably get shot in the face a few times before somebody <laughs> says hi, but just keep trying, and you will find cool people to run with. And yeah. you'll you know once you go on a five hour run with somebody that you've just met in DayZ, you've kind of been through a lot. So <laughs> you know just make like a Discord. Emotional damage. Love we've gone yeah. through it together. <laughs> exactly. That's cool. Man. So, um, like like Andy said, this is your year. So we we've been noticing a a gradual, say a gradual in time, a, a, a massive incline on your viewership. How have you taken that? How 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 well has that gone down? Uh, well, I never expect any of it. When I started streaming, I didn't expect it to go anywhere, and then eventually it overtook my other business, so it became my full time thing. Um, 
but I never expect it to keep growing. Like at this point last year, I was like, wow, like I'm, I'm in a really good place. I'm earning a full-time income from this. I'm having loads of fun. Like I'm, this is, I'm coasting. It's, I'm happy and stuff, but then I didn't expect it to grow even more. Mm. So I never kind of, I don't know where it comes from. Like I do a lot of YouTube stuff. I do a lot of TikTok stuff, but that's just, you know, for the fun of it, really. I think there's not really a magic formula. People always look for that magic formula, but there, there isn't one. I don't, I don't think, you know, it's always yeah. about uh, right place, right time. But then it's also you being consistent. It's not, it's not just based on luck. I think luck does, does have a part to play in it because you have to be there at the right place, right time. If you were, if you're playing Daisy 20 years from now, it's probably not going to work for you. Right. But right now it's a, it's a thing. It's got a community. You were there and then you were there the next day and then you were there the next day. And then, and you know what I mean? And then the people latch onto that and they go, Oh, I'll jump into Ollie's stream again because she was cool. She engaged with.